good old daddy. Happy Friday and welcome back to another episode of Best of Five DVD Extras. That's us. That's us. Hey guys, hope you checked out Wednesday's episode. It was a little nerdy in the first half, but then a little just ranty in the second yeah, half. Yeah, a little bitchy in the second half. Yeah, just yeah. a little bit, but that's all right. We're glad you guys came back to check us out. So, Jory, how have you been? Good? Great. Yeah, I've been great uh, since the last time we recorded the Wednesday's podcast. I've yep. been doing awesome. Everything has changed in... I'm wearing the exact same the thing. same clothes, but it's a different day. I washed them. Uh, I always kind of wondered, like, um, like big podcasts who do like multiple recordings in a day, yeah. they always change. They, yeah, they have they have outfit changes, and yeah. I'm just like, why? Like, Nobody <laughs> well, didn't mean to do it's that. Like, I I know you're recording like ten episodes in one day. You don't have to change your clothes. Yeah, and it's like, why? Who cares? <laughs> who yeah. cares? Nobody. Yeah. yeah. It's absurd. Yeah, but it's all right. It's fine. But like, even like, yeah, some Good of the big podcasts. I'm just I like, am human. It's like, oh, we still have to uh, another podcast to do, and you have to be somewhere. Like, blah blah blah. And they're like, yeah, yeah, we should probably get this going. And then like the end of the episode, and then I'm like, all right, so next episode they recorded the same day, and then it's never really like the same day. Yeah, it's crazy. I'm just like, okay, man, that's good for you guys, I guess. Yo, I don't think I would if ever do an outfit change, like at all. I would. Yeah. I think we've done it here before. But I'm saying, like, I was wearing a jacket, and I took oh, my yeah. jacket off. I almost, yeah. I'm kind of sweating. I almost took this off, but. Yeah. Continuity. Who has time for that? Yeah. Who has time for that crap? That's fair. That bull crap? That's such crap. Are we even counting curses anymore? Because. I don't think so. Okay. I Honestly, I think it was good to reel them in. Uh-huh. Felt nice to kind of dial, dial it back. Dial it back a, a little bit, yeah. Yeah, we'll get, it was getting a little sailor-like there for a while. That's fair. So now we can say heck and frick as much as we heck and frick and want to? Yep. Heck yeah. Yep. Heck and frick yep. and Which yeah. is hopefully less. Yeah. You that was the I mean? whole goal of the exercise, and now we just yeah, it was a good, take it too far to the other side. Kind of funny. <laughs> yeah, say heck and frick. Heck yeah. and frick and crap. Um, <laughs> what's the frick and frick were we talking about? Uh, Nothing really important. Costume changes. Oh, elephant yeah. changes. Yeah. Damn it, I had something too. Dang. Oh, my bad. Fart. But yeah, I think we can uh, say profanities now. Just oh, in, in like in real life, I feel like I was doing it too much. Uh, that's and right. I think I like I caught a glimpse of someone else in a conversation swearing a lot, and I was like, mm, that's tacky. Yeah, I was like, I don't want to look like that. Yeah, I'm a like, professional. And I was like, that's this guy looks tacky, sounds tacky. That's fair. Uh, He's probably watching me speak. No, it wasn't Chris. No, <laughs> no different guy. Uh, I think I feel like I don't really curse that much in no, public. You don't. You're, you keep it pretty tight. Yeah, honestly, at it's all, because you're not that bad. But it's because I'm loud, and I know I'm loud. Yeah, so you you try to keep the profanities to a minimum. Yeah, but I do just say off the. Loud. I do say off the wall, fucking kooky shit though. Yeah, I think the viewers probably know that by now. Yeah, <laughs> but I do it in public all the time. Yeah, you, and then they're you, just like, Chris, why'd you yell that? I'm like, just like, I didn't. I'm saying like, it at uh, my normal tone of voice. You like a reaction. Yeah. And especially if it's like a new person. Like you did it last night at Tight Knit with uh, the new guy, Joe. <laughs> oh, yeah. I did totally forgot. Dude. Yeah. You, you, oops. I think I kicked the camera. Oh, my oh. gosh. I think we're fine. Yeah. I think you, we're good. I'm just getting a little cozy now. Getting yeah. kind of that just, deep yeah, sit. Yeah. Sitting in yeah. there. Yeah. Yeah. DVD extras. We can chill. <laughs> right. We're chill on the DVD extras. Um, <laughs> the chill cast. Yeah. You said some out of pocket <laughs> crap to that guy, dude, last night. And I just was like, <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> But it also is something you would say, and yeah. I have heard you say, so it was like... Eh, it was mostly I was talking to Falk. My favorite thing is making yeah. Falk uncomfortable, and that was the whole point, is he, make Falk uncomfortable. The, I think there's also maybe, like, a few... Like, he doesn't understand everything all the time. Yeah, like, and that's also, like, kind of the bit. Yeah, yeah, because yeah, he always asks, like, words sometimes, like, the, like pretty often, and I think some of the shit you say, he's like, what the fuck? <laughs> what is that? What are you even saying? <laughs> What, yeah, what, yeah. What are you even saying? Oh, uh, but yeah. Oh, the, they were also talking about how uh, someone was misusing a term. They were saying like trying to say like, "Oh yeah, that's really awesome. It gets me going," kind of thing. Yeah. But they were saying, "Oh yeah, gets that me gets off. me off." Yeah. And I'm like, "What?" The yeah, fuck? dude. Yeah, and then they were saying, I'd say that. <laughs> and then they were saying something too that they then misused. They're like, um, oh, like it wasn't just the tip, but it was like. Go to bed. Getting, uh, uh, tipping off. Getting a tip up. off. Yeah, like a tip off. 
They're like, oh yeah, you know, you know, you're tipping someone off. They're like, they made it sexual. I'm like, that's not what that means. Yeah, that's not sexual. Tip but off. they were just like, oh tipping, no, shut up. Tipping now you're off just, doesn't mean anything unless you're playing sports. But I mean, if you get tipped off, that's like someone gives you a little piece of information about something. Oh, that too. Yeah, yeah. but then they I'm were just, just like, like tip off, like. Yeah, like basketball, basketball. yeah. And then they just, like, made it sexual. And I'm like, what are you guys doing? You guys just touching tips until it's, like, a tip-off? Yeah. Just got the nicest tip? Like, what are you... What are you guys talking about? What are you saying, Yeah, but they were just being weird about it. What is like, what are you doing? Stop it. Shut up. Uh, But it was funny. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that really gets me off. Like, that's not what that means. Uh, But it kind of is. It kind of is, yeah. It kind kind of of is. is. Just a little more... Um, sexual than I think they expect. Hold yeah. On. Must have been uh, somebody in the alley. I was, oh, yeah, I heard, I heard them talking. Too. I did, too. That was wild. Yeah. Oh, but, yeah, it's funny. That really that really gets me off. <laughs> yeah, if you're using it in, like, a gets you mad way, yeah. that's funny. If you're if like, you yeah, I'm getting real. I'm I'm getting oh, off real good I'm right getting now. getting heated. I'm so mad. That really gets me off. <laughs> Like that's that's hilarious. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, that's pretty. good. I would just let that person roll. Yeah, I, I, would, I would not I say would anything. Never I'd be correct. Like, yep. It. Yeah, I was like that, exactly. Yeah, that exactly. really gets you off, bud. Oh man, but yeah, you know it gets me <laughs> off <laughs> when people don't put their shopping carts back. <laughs> that's what we call a callback uh, in the industry. Yeah, and that also like that that. Provides a certain picture in your brain, yeah, of getting off when people don't put their shopping carts away, <laughs> and that would really get people to put their shopping <sighs> carts away. <laughs> just a dude in a trench coat, just mm, mm, that mm. would that would really get people to put their shopping carts oh, away. Oh so man, I think we're onto something there. Yeah. Oh yeah, people are like speaking of like just people being weird in public. Like yeah, that dude just smoking meth in the alley next to a cop. Oh and the my cop not God, doing anything, dude. That was bizarre last night. Yeah, wild. And then yeah, oh. then he got kicked out of the alley. Yeah. And then just came in front of where we were at mm-hmm. and just started smoking meth again. Started like, literally meth, right outside. Um, and I'm like, believable. neat, perfect. Unbelievable. Yeah. I was trying to get pictures of the cops sitting there looking at him do meth. Yeah, it was, it was pretty crazy. Because she was. Yeah. She was just sitting there in her car. I think they told him to clear out, and then they walked away. And the second they walked away, the cops, Yeah. he started smoking meth. Mm-hmm. Literally, well, we're second. assuming it's meth. It could be crack. Could, it could be, be crack. any any form of yeah. He was tubed. He glass wasn't. Uh, he wasn't lighting like this. He was very much lighting like this <laughs> for a long so, period of time. Like so, he was trying to melt something I down. Don't believe it was marijuana. Yes, you know um, that's not how you do that. Uh, yeah, I was like, that's not how you smoke marijuana. Yeah, <laughs> uh, which is also illegal to do in public, anyway. So yeah, there should true. have been something. Also. They probably saw his meth pipe. Take it away. Yeah, yeah. Take but his guess, par- paraphernalia away. But also, like, speaking of, like, just people being lazy, man, it's every profession is, like, lazy yeah. now. It's crazy yeah. since the pandemic. Yeah, nobody wants to do the paperwork. I get it. It's yeah. a lot of paperwork. Yeah. But also, this guy's smoking meth in a public space where, like, people are trying to hang out. Yeah, it was. it's the next, literally next to a park. Yeah, like, go, yeah come go on. Go smoke meth, like... Over by the train tracks or something. I don't yeah. know. Yeah. Somewhere go sit, more respectable. Yeah, go sit on the train tracks and smoke meth or something. I yeah. don't know. Ugh. No, don't die. Yeah. But he probably wouldn't because there's not... The trains happened midday and this was the afternoon. So he yeah. probably would have been fine. Right. Mm. Yeah, yeah, man. I'm so tired of public. Yeah. I might oh, just... Under a bridge? Yeah. There's plenty of places under bridges to go smoke meth. All right, there you go. Where you won't get hassled. Nobody's Even gonna hassle he, you. He barely got bridge. hassled. So. Barely, dude. Barely. barely. Like I it was a slight, in, yeah, it was a slight inconvenience. And then once she saw him, then he packed up. Also, he was hauling. He a, had some crazy stuff, dude. <laughs> he had the front. He had a cart, and on the front of the cart was hanging an entire front fender of a car. Yeah, blue, right or silver? I don't like remember. Purple. Yeah, purple something like that. Blue. Yeah. Then a bunch of shit. Of course. He had a tire. And then he had a tire on top, a full car tire on top. Yeah. Maybe with, I couldn't tell if there was a rim in there or not. But I couldn't tell at either. At the very least, an entire tire. And then tied to his cart via the plug in cable, yeah. via the electrical cord. Yeah, yeah. He had an entire, like, reach in cooler. Yeah. Like a reach in 
cooler, like the silver one like you a, see at like, restaurants, like a restaurant style, yeah, cooler. And that he was hauling that with the like, that was behind him. That was like his cargo. Yeah, I which hauling. I don't understand one where he got that from. I'm assuming it was in the alley. What is that, he gonna do? That with a that? restaurant just dumped it. And two, yeah, like what's your plan with that, man? You can't plug it in anywhere. Yeah, and it's probably broken. Hence why it was probably in the alley. Broken. Yeah. Which, like, not an appropriate way to dispose of that because it has the refrigerants in it, but whatever. Well, I mean, they probably expected someone just to steal it, to be completely yeah, honest. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah that's so, how you do that. Yeah, I mean, uh, so that's how they did it, and it actually worked. So, that's good yeah, point. and then, yeah, like, come on. What are you going to, like, I mean, it is, like, uh, insulated, so it would keep things cold or warm. Sure, sure. But, like, what's he putting in there? <laughs> Himself? <sighs> yeah. It wasn't big enough for a person. I mean, I could fit in there. I don't think you could have. It was smaller than you think it was. Yeah. It wasn't like a full size. It was like a half size. Yeah, yeah. It's like you could, I mean, you could It was fit like a lot. not the length of this table, but like the width of this table. Yeah, yeah, yep, yep, yep. And I'm sure it was pretty deep. Which is why, like, it was a normal height. Two and a half feet. Yeah. But, golly, what was he, what's the plan? Yeah, I have no Where idea. Where did man. you get that? And I bet it front stinks. Bumper. I bet it oh. stinks, man. Because that probably wasn't cleaned. And once no all the way, ice dude. melts, it ugh. smells. Ugh. Gross. Yeah. He was just yeah. The front bumper. Doing, like, wh- uh, where, what are you doing with that? The tire. What are you gonna do with? <laughs> and it was busted too. It wasn't yeah. like it was like. It's I'm obviously gonna sell it. Somebody got into a car accident, moved it onto the side of the road, and then for fun he like attached it to his cart because now he has a car now. Yeah. Like it was literally put there to make it look like it was like yeah. a part of his cart. It was wild. It was, it was wild. It was a wild setup, and he had purple hair. Yeah. And no shoes. Yeah. But was carrying the shoes. Oh, yeah. He had shoes. He, had he was shoes. just not wearing he them. He was not wearing them. Yeah. Yeah. Just fine. Anyway, on that depressing note. What a time. <laughs> wow. Wow. Thanks. Uh, thanks. Anyway, thanks, thanks for really. checking out this episode 151 of DVD Extras. Oh. Did you just smash my face? Yeah, it was like you just punched the mic with your face? Yep. <laughs> hope Chin you punched guys, it. Hope you guys check us out next week and saw this week's episode. Make sure to watch both. We'll see you guys soon. Like, subscribe, comment, follow, comment. Yeah, cool. And as always, I'm Chris, and this is Jory. I'm Jory, and this here is Chris. We'll see you guys next week. I, we said we weren't going to do that anymore. Yeah, we weren't going to shoot people, but it's kind of fun. Goodbye. Yeah,